I have been wearing the same underwear unwashed for six months. One pair, that's all I have. It is disgusting how gray and dark they are, covered in stains. The crotch is literally brown and fucking, it feels like almost like plastic because of how long it has not been been washed. This is... (laughs) I hate my life. And I think what really angers me about this whole thing is no one here seems to get it. My mom doesn't get it. If you can't afford to wash your laundry, let alone buy new laundry, I'm going to have to be naked when I walk around at some point. Because clothes does rot, it turns out. Most of my pants have holes in the crotch. Good luck getting an interview at that point. No one needs to see my dick any anywhere, in any capacity. And yet I cannot afford underwear. My underwear also does not fit. The legs are so stretched out from being worn out over the fucking last six to eight months. Cause I've, I bought these over eight months ago. I've been using them nonstop like this since the last six months. <sighs> How have I not killed anybody? You can't walk into a fucking job where you do food smelling like yesterday's shit. As I rip fucking ass, which just makes my underwear fucking dirtier. I, I like to have to, I have to actually uh, specify that, Brandy. My underwear all over is completely almost tar brown at this point because I have not been able to wash it. And yes, it smells like eggs and sulfur every time I walk to a fucking room. You know how humiliating that is? That is why I never get to meet anybody. Oh, but you know. If David actually gave a shit, and my mom actually gave a shit, maybe they'd be here when I need them. I have to actually uh, specify that, Brandy. My underwear, all over, is completely almost tar brown at this point. Because I have not been able to wash it, and yes, it smells like eggs and sulfur every time I walk to a fucking room. You know how humiliating that is? Okay, people here are fucking such pussies because in reality, if you live in the country, you're going to smell like shit. It's just a thing. And I'm being told by every fucking elitist fucking entitled look of fucking bitch. You stink. No shit, fucking Einstein. It's fucking desert outside. Motherfuckers in California should be more entitled than this, but somehow it's Michigan. I have not met one woman worth my time in this fucking godforsaken state. I can't find one person fucking person that will want to hang out. Everywhere you go to make friends, everybody's paranoid that because you're white or if you're not from there, they're going to treat you like shit. Fine. I hope the fucking, I hope there's a a bunch of invasions, you know, China, Russia, Ukraine, I fucking Middle Eastern people, they all just taking over homes. They all have to worry about Then you can act paranoid because I'm not from here. I'm white. I'm fucking white. <laughs> it was in my wallet. My wallet is completely missing because of all the fucking shit I had to move yesterday. I I have to blow off the annotations. I'm getting fired already. I haven't even started fucking working. Ow. 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 Great. I just sliced up my fucking wrist. Ow. Massive fucking hole in the wall. Ow. And then she brought up Edward Knight. <laughs> and she started making fun of me saying, you don't have split personality. You don't have a split personality. You're a delusional loser. You deserve to fuck be locked up. You don't have anything going on. You're just an ass on piece of shit, John. And if my mom knew what Edward Knight was, she wouldn't fucking do that.